Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. You may remember when I went out to Denver, Colorado and I went to the program with Rachel Hoffman at the um, Denver Museum of Miniatures that I met a lady there, Amanda, who had a doll by Realm of Queen Mab and that was an artist I had been admiring for a long time and I kind of told her, I made a video about hers, about her fantasy creature and um, it's here on the channel if you want to check it out. It's not a super long video but like I just had to take the opportunity to talk about that doll while we were there and she was gracious enough to do that with me. Well, part of my thing had been like I had actually set alarms and tried to buy dolls from this artist before because oh, I love the Christmas paper. I had tried to buy dolls from this artist before and I missed out every time. Well, I got lucky and I got the October commission slot. So here she is and she was actually finished. Um, I just, I got her, it is November, but she was finished really early. It just, the shipping from from Spain took a while. So this is a beautiful, beautiful box. I love this box. I'm really, really excited to open this because with the commission, you could choose three basic things, a couple basic things. It was like, did you want a girl or a boy? Um, did you want uh, like wings or not? And then there were like some other features you could choose from. So uh, yeah, so I was really excited to see her come to life and she's going to be, the like um i'm gonna display her with my toby froud guy because i think they're gonna look really amazing together oh my gosh would you look at this so this is her staff oh my word look at that golly so you've got like a glass bauble here in the middle and then this is just so realistically sculpted all the way through with the moss and there's little beads that look like little dew drops or something, little gemstones. They're, oh, they're iridescent. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. This is, this is, just this is amazing. Oh, I gotta be careful with this. I don't wanna break it. But yeah, like I, um, meeting Amanda and seeing hers in person, I was like, okay, I have to really, really pay attention, like really pay closer attention because I really want one of these. And I felt so, so fortunate to be able to snag at the October commission because um, you get a little more, you get a little bit of, I love all of her ready made, like not ready made, but like everything she posts is really cool. Um, but this one, you get a little bit of input as to what you actually want. So. Let's get her unwrapped. Just trying to get some of the um, stuff off the table. So let's see, we've got, you can kind of see her through. And one of the things I really like, and this may sound really silly, but I love that she has green toenails. Amanda's had the green nails as well. And I thought it looked so cool on hers. She didn't ask me, the artist did not ask me what color nails I wanted. She just, she, everything was mostly artist choice. It was just, you got a few choices, which is good because I don't like making the choices anyway. I would always rather do artist choice. And um, yeah, so I was like, I love that she did the green nails because to me, you could choose exposed feet or shoes. That was one of the choices that I had for her. I should have brought some scissors out to open this up. So let's see if I can get her get this bubble wrap off of her oh my goodness wow just like uncovering these details slowly is just such a treat for the eyes oh my goodness look at her oh 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 let's get those wings out wow wow just gonna, wow wow she is incredible. So first of all, I don't even know where to look first. All right, let's look at her face first, I guess, because her face is just stunning. So this is sculpted by hand. I'm pretty sure in polymer clay. Let's see, some tips. This is not a children's toy, it's a collector's item. Take care with extreme heat. Um, the box is reusable. October Commission Phelan. Owned by Allison Hernandez. This is a one-of-a-kind art doll created by Silverberry. 
So there's the COA and it's the realm of Queen Mab and I will put of course link her information below. She's very active on Facebook. She's like that's where that's where I see the most information from her but gosh just wow that face is just so detailed and stunning and then we've got I love the wig or not the wig I guess it's I guess it is a wig but like the hair it's not like removable and then I want y'all to just see the details on the hands look at those hands that is just absolutely incredible I should have painted my nails green to match for the the video everything is just so detailed and the arms do move a little so there's a wire armature here so you can oh the head moves is the head supposed to move it moves a little bit like side to side but I'm not gonna move it around too much because I don't know how much it's really supposed to move then I you could choose wings was something I chose I can't remember what the choice it was wings or something else I don't remember what but I chose the wings her tail she's got a tail here that is wired and poseable and then oh my gosh I'm just like drinking in all her details look at her feet like look at the the like not shoes but like the whatever this that you would call this on her feet wow 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 this is incredible like how does a person make something like this I just can't even get over it like how do you even make something like this it blows my mind and she's got a chain around her belly with a little key that's really sweet and she pretty much stands on her own because those feet are really nice and big so oh I want to show you one thing before I put her staff in her hand she's got on her um, back she's got like a bustle you see like this little it's like a turtle shell almost but it's a little bustle to give her a little a little oomph in the back so she's got that and then let's do her let me put her staff in her hands I love this I love this doll I don't know if you would call it a doll I mean I'm calling it a doll but like wow would you look at that that is fantastic that is incredible nothing short of incredible wow 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 very 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 amazing piece I'm I'm really in awe just wow how, really how does a person do how does a person do this how do you how do you do this like it is it is so beyond anything golly the detail is just outstanding all right there's a little green sachet here I'm gonna open it says thank you um, I can't remember if she had some other pieces or if this is something else let's see um, let me get it opened I'm struggling with this one let's see there we go this is oh this is a necklace for me I think oh how nice oh I love that look that's a hand sculpted like human necklace for humans oh that's so nice I love stuff like this because I wear um, when I get like jewelry with my dolls I do wear it out like I, I wear it as you know accessories when I when I'm I'll find something nice to wear it with this actually might go with what I'm wearing right now see and it looks like it actually yeah I think it looks okay I think it looks I've got another sweater just like this but in a different color the colors would probably go better but I think it looks okay like this I like to wear stuff like that because it's like doll lifestyle stuff you know it reminds me of like my whole passion in life I guess but wow she is just this doll is absolutely incredible, incredible. I cannot believe how lucky I am, honestly. Am I holding her staff upside down? I wonder if it's supposed to go like this. Yeah, I think I have it upside down. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, that does. <laughs> Whoops. 
I guess it doesn't look bad either way, but it's definitely, that's the way it's supposed to go. Whoopsie. Oh well. Oh wow. She's just, ah. Uh, she's so perfect. She is so perfect. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. Wow, 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 wow. I can't wait to put her on display with my Toby Froud guy. They're gonna look so good together. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna link all the artist information below so you guys can follow along. If you're interested in getting their stuff, you need to make sure you're following her because, and I would follow her Instagram and Facebook because the stuff does go fast. Like this was a lucky shot for me. I was really happy to be able to get it. And I feel really, really grateful for that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon, Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Krista R, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knit Knacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the video description. Thank you for watching!